go. I want to show you the materials that are being used in the initial phase of the restoration. This is the original uh, flax straw mixed with excelsior. You'll see some wood shavings in it, but it's mostly flax straw, it's like a, a very thin grass. It packs nicely, but it is it, it does tend to mat and it holds a lot of dust. And for this portion of the restoration, uh, it wasn't deemed proper because I could not get enough loft and spring to it in order to fill the areas without creating lumps. So we decided to forego putting more of the historic materials in favor of the um, Algerian, the shredded palm frond. And then, as I was saying earlier, the palm frond is shredded and then turned into large hanks. They're twisted. You can see how this was twisted until they're enormous hanks into a figure eight. And they have to be disassembled, unwound, over a broad range of, uh, well, almost like a, a room that's a hangar, a warehouse, and a person on each end, and just hooking into it and unwinding it. And it has to be pulled apart and carded. But you can see how springy it actually is. It's a very nice material. It's used back in the 19th century. And uh, I've opened up Germanic pieces as well as French pieces from the mid-19th century that have Algerian in them. In America, more flax straw than Algerian. Uh, we're going to finish off the seat with polished red coeur. And this also is a coconut fiber. Uh, around from around the husk. It's quite springy like a hair. We're going to put this over the um, spring scrim, the initial deck, to uh, level it off. It'll be hand stitched onto the burlap deck and then the uh, historic pot will be placed over that. And that will take up the um, various pockets and anomalies that are underneath. So let's shift to the top and I'll show you the core you can see that the Algerian has already been lashed in along the front edge and along the back edge. That will, will act as fillers. And the core is going to be the um, hand carded, very, very thin. We don't, I don't want to create a great deal of loft. I just want to take up some of the anomalies that are on the top where the springs separate. And so, Just do this by feel. And see how much it can thin out. I'll put another bit in. You can see it span the seat. Eventually the entire seat will be covered in this. Will you lash this and as then well? It will be hand stitched in. Okay. Again, traditional upholstery, fresh upholstery, I would run a course of stitching, back stitchings with loops that that actually are loose that allow me to place the hair underneath. But it's difficult to control um, on this type of construction when I'm really trying to restore an old pod. So what I'm going to do is hand card it in and then simply do the stitching across and I can control the, the density of the material um, as well. Do one more before we finish up and then we can come back, we can return to see the piece after the stitching is in.